I'm Ian, and along with Kyle, we are Group 11. The objective of our project was to develop a stability augmentation system for the Piper Cherokee aircraft. Piper PA-28 Cherokee is a family of aircraft developed for flight training, air taxi and personal use. In its role as a flight training aircraft, we saw the opportunity to develop a stability augmentation system which inputs a control input in the rudder on top of the pilot's control input. This helps reduce the rate of the aircraft and stabilise the aircraft. As a flight handling systems go, normally they can run into the millions of pounds, but we've managed to develop a system which costs just under 50. Unfortunately, we have no Piper aircraft available to show you how it works, but we've managed to develop a quick mock-up showing you how our system would work. So let's take a tour of the hardware. First of all, there's the lithium polymer battery, which is providing a 12 volt supply to the battery eliminating circuit, the BEC, which is then um, going along and feeding the Raspberry Pi with 5 volt inputs into the GPIO. The Raspberry Pi is then powering the IMU, or inertial measurement unit, from where we get the roll, the pitch, and the yaw, as well as heading and X, Y, and Z accelerations of the aircraft. This information which is fed into the Raspberry Pi, where the Raspberry Pi then calculates what rudder input is required to stabilise the aircraft and to reduce the rates. All this information is then shown to our novice pilot on the display here, and in this case we have our pilot, um, the novice Ted Bear. I'll now pass you on to Kyle, who's going to give you a better explanation of how we've managed to make this whole project work. Thank you very much, Kyle. Thanks, Ian. So, the software on board is created in C++ using the QT library. It's comprised of two components. The first is reading the IMU, and the second is handling all the graphical display and reading the pilot inputs on, from the sliders on the go. <clears throat> These two processes occur at very different speeds. We wish to record as much IMU data as possible, so we want the IMU data to be run very, very, at a very, very high speed. However, as the plotting data and all the graphical stuff slows down the CPU, we wish to minimise the speed at which, which we do these events. So, uh, IMU, the graphical interface only operates at 24 Hz, whereas um, the IMU operates as quickly, the IMU threads operate as quickly as IMU is. Um, to implement these two separate processes, we make use of threading. So, a separate thread for IMU, a separate thread for uh, graphical, graphical stuff and uh, user interface. The, the problem lies in that these two threads are separate, we wish to share data between the two. Uh, how we resolve this issue is we make use of a ring buffer. The ring buffer, uh, the ring buffer is, takes data from the IMU thread, which operates at a very high frequency, the ring buffer starts to fill up, and then once every 24 Hz a timer event is called, which instructs the plotting thread to, to collect all the data from the buffer, uh, put it into, uh, put it into the, the plot, the plot, and then replot all the data uh, with the final plot. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> um, that's that's the main process of plotting the data. All of the signals, all of the sliders, and the pilot input stuff is all handled with uh, signals and slots and connectors in QT. Uh, it's all explained explained in much more detail in the wiki. Uh, from now, uh, now we'll, pa we'll go on and do a demo. We are now going to demonstrate how the stability augmentation system's input is displayed to the pilot. So we've got Kyle kindly holding the plane instead of the level flight. If we move down to the graphical interface and have a look and see what the pilot would see on his display. So if Kyle could please put in a yaw for us just now. So currently Kyle to the right of me is doing a, a yaw to the right and he is now doing, going to do a yaw to the left and he's going to now uh, oscillate it. And as you can see, the rudder angle, which is being put in on top of the pilot's input, which is the zero, is trying to stabilize the system. So those oscillations are actually the rudder trying to stabilize and stop the rate of the aircraft. Because of the coupled motion, um, the coupled modes on an aircraft, there's also uh, a smaller input also for roll and um, pitch. So Kyle's now currently rolling the aircraft and he's now going to pitch it. And as you can see, the stability system again tries to reduce the rate. 
We're now going to demonstrate to you the pilot inputs. So Kyle's now going to reach across and move with the mouse at the top of the screen the rudder deflection. And as you can see, what that does is it then moves how much deflection the rudder is at. So if Kyle moves it to a value and holds it there, that's perfect. And now he's now going to try and yaw the aircraft. So he's now yawing the aircraft backwards and forwards to show us the rudder moving about that point which has been input by the pilot. Again, trying to stabilise it around that input the pilot has put in. Obviously, it's more sensitive to yaw, and then for roll and so on and so forth, it, there's a less sensitivity due to it not being a direct mode. This also works for aileron and for ele elevator. And that's the demonstration, and that's us showing how our stability system can be used to stabilise the aircraft. Thank you.